Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, welcome back and a very good Tuesday afternoon to you. Hopefully you've gotten away from the mosquitoes today. It was all about the heat and humidity. And unfortunately, from the Weather Center, we're going to let you know that the heat and humidity are going to continue with us. As we look at the Doppler radar as we go throughout the day, again, just a couple of little sprinkles here and there. Didn't amount to a whole lot. A couple of little thunder showers. Once again, moving just south of Alice in the central and southern portions of Jim Wells County and just to the west of Kingsville as well. But uh, dry air continues to filter on into the region. So the activity that we've been seeing lately is going to continue to diminish as we head to the next several days only an opportunity for a couple of little sea breeze showers in the afternoons each day. But of course, we all know that doesn't amount to a whole lot. A few clouds lingering about the region right now. It is hot all across the Lone Star State. We do have some showers that are forming off in El Paso right now in the western portions of Texas with a little trough out there. But temperatures out in El Paso, despite all that rain that they have, it's not a lot, but still they're at 106 degrees this afternoon. The big storm system up to the north continuing to wrap around and that frontal boundary that was in North Texas. I mentioned yesterday that this was eventually going to drag it up to the northeast and that's exactly what's occurring right now. So the high pressure that was a little bit off to the west yesterday is continuing to get closer and closer. Look at all this dry air. Yesterday we had a little bubble of uh, some moisture that was lingering overhead. That has uh, since dissipated and all this dry air that's up to the north is going to continue to move down in our direction. So this is a weather pattern for tomorrow. It's going to start to get a little breezy out there, but not bad though. Tomorrow should be a nice day to be out and about as long as you don't mind the mosquitoes out there. And of course, hot and humid conditions with again those sea breeze showers lingering close by as we get into our typical summer weather pattern here. Then an upper level low is going to dig off to the desert southwest. The only thing that's going to do, because we're still going to be under the influence of the high pressure ridge, is increase our winds here as we head on into Thursday and on into Friday as well. So let's look at it on the future tracker as we head into early in the morning. A couple of showers, but that does linger offshore, mainly just a partly to mostly cloudy skies. That'll quickly lead to lots of sunshine on into the afternoon. And as we go into Thursday morning, we repeat the process once again and on into Thursday afternoon. Again, we could see one or two of those coastal little showers, but again, it's not going to amount to a whole lot, unfortunately. We're holding on to 88 degrees right now, but 95 off in George West, 86 out in Port Aransas. Our water temperature is still holding on to 84 degrees at this point. But with our dew points in the uh, middle to upper 70s, it's still oppressively hot out there. 101 is the heat index here, 103 out at the Naval Air Station. But look at the uh, folks up in Live Oak County, George West. Take it easy out there, 107 degrees. That is pushing the dangerous category. And again, uh, you want to not forget your pets as well. Make sure they have some cool water and some shade as well. Evening forecast takes the temperatures into the lower 80s. Notice that the winds begin to relax 6 to 12 miles an hour, eventually making our way up into the upper 70s early in the morning. Tomorrow it's going to be another humid, hot day. Highs in the lower 90s. More sunshine, though. Very humid southeasterly winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour as we look at the mainly low 90s along the coastline, but uh, already starting to get close to 100 degrees for our inland areas for the actual temperature. And of course, heat indices are going to range around 100 at times, pushing 110 degrees across the region. Southeasterly winds are pretty persistent right now but they will begin to relax as we go into tomorrow morning and on into tomorrow afternoon. Southeasterly winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. As we continue to watch the tropics for you, nothing going on in the Gulf of Mexico. The Pacific is a little bit active out there and the rest of the Atlantic is looking pretty good at this point. Is there a lot of dry air? In fact, there's a little bit of area of some Saharan dust as well. That's going to eventually transport as we go on into the weekend and make things a little bit hazy out here. 76, 93 tomorrow as we look at our NEC co-op energy forecast, 92 and 78 on Thursday, hazy, hot, humid and windy. Lee and Priscilla as we head off into the weekend.